All right, welcome to Dean Bodie Show. Dan, 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 dan. Dean Bodie Show. How's everybody doing? DeanBodie.com is the website. We got the link for the podcast and the social link for the YouTube channel. Hey, on the podcast, put a nice five star rating and a nice review. Apple, Spotify, wherever you get podcasts, we're on all the platforms. And the social takes you to the YouTube channel. D E A N B O D I, Space Show, is our YouTube channel. All the episodes, all the teasers are on there too. Well, if you're just listening to the audio, you got to get over to the YouTube channel, see the teasers, and you know, you'll line it all up. You'll see. We're having a good time over here, Dean Bodie. And, um,. Good girl, Bodie. Good, good girl. Good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Yeah. DeanBodie.com, 800-878-9698. Bodie Hotline the Bodie Good Time Line. Call it. Leave something fun on there. Number one, because she's the greatest. Number two, without this Bodie, there's no Dean Bodie show. Nada. So leave something fun on there. I don't know, say hello, say where you're from. I don't know, where you're from? Um, New Zealand. Oh, I don't know, maybe you're from, uh, I don't know, Zimbabwe. Or maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, Manhattan. Who knows? Say your name, where you're from. Do a little sing-along. Do you wanna go? Party, do you wanna go? Party, we'll get funky there. Have a really time. That's a little KC (laughs) sing-along. Do You Want to Go Party by KC. Man, I had a little flashback. Oh, got to get into this. But first of all, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click the like. Don't forget to ring the bell. You don't want to miss any of these shows. Why? Because these are real shows. No editing. We go A to Z. We flip the switch on the mic and we just tear through it and we put it in the can. Done. Right? So, that's how we do it. Um, Today's going to be a little day in the life and some flashback. I don't know. Sometimes I have these flashback moments, and I had one. We're going back to 1985-ish. I'm bartending at a place called Scarlet O'Hara's, and I butted butted heads with one of the bartenders there. Um, What's his name again? Greg. (laughs) So, I'll tell you that story in a second, but... Some of the songs that were happening around that time, it takes me to like Frankie Goes to Hollywood, uh, songs like that. Relax, don't do it, when you want to go to it. Relax, don't do it. Down, 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 down. I mean, that was like crazy. Relax, don't do it, when you want to suck it to it. Frankie Goes to Hollywood. I remember people going to that concert when I was working there, and I couldn't go, and how awesome they said it was. And another one that comes to mind is a band called Go West. We close our eyes. Or um, whatever one they had. They had, I'm the king of wishful thinking. That one. A couple great hits from Go West. And... uh, Another one that comes to mind around that time, let me see, Go West, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, oh, Men at Work, gave me a Vegemite sandwich, hey, do you come from the land of under, yet a deed and blender, <laughs> that was crazy, crazy music, man, synthesizers, weird sounds and stuff, but, oh, man, was it fun, and, uh, I uh, was thinking about the veggie mite. I could relate. I related to that better later in life because I traveled to Australia two different times uh, for work as we were traveling around, and uh, I got a tube of veggie mite. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, an acquired taste. Let's put it that way. But I related it more to that song, and. Um, Wow, unbelievable times. But I butted head with Greg the bartender. We got along for a little bit, a little while, but he was a different kind of vibe. He was a little older, been there longer. Just a temper. He had such a short temper, and he liked to call me little nicknames like, hey, Rambo, do this. Hey, Schwarzenegger, get that. I was all jacked up from the gym. I was a gym rat, and he would just. I don't know, like to do the teasy names all the time. It got a little old. So one night, 
he decided to yell at me about getting on service bar because I was talking to a friend that came to visit. Of course I was paying attention. This kid knows what he's doing. But he wanted to give me a little bit of a, Ugh, you know how that goes. So I said, I'm going to walk over to him tonight and give him a piece of my mind and let him know what time it is. And he looked at me and said, you're fired. Oh, <laughs> so talk to the manager. It was just, unre you know, I don't know. He just couldn't deal with me for some reason. What can I tell you? Maybe my Bloody Mary mix was better than his, and my bar flair was just a little bit better. Probably. So, that being said, that was my journey at Scarlett O'Hara's, but the songs and the music that came out of there, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Go West, Men at Work, oh. Because of that, I downloaded those three songs today. Couldn't help it. Had an itch I had to scratch. I would like to do a congratulations right now to Febreze. Yay, Febreze. Nice going. The spray that I use actually in the one can for the first time ever made it from the top, the new one, all the way to the end without running out. I got to use the entire product. Oh, wow, what a concept. All of it came out in the spray spray. Very nice. So you're batting like maybe, I don't know, 1%. So fix it. Maybe you should consult Elon Musk. That's what I think. Hey, Millie. Yeah? You know the Febreze always runs out before it's time. It doesn't ever go to the end. Remember that? Yeah, I know it happens all the time. He said he finally got one that went all the way. Oh, my God. So, we had our first caller, Will, yesterday on the hotline. I want to say thanks to Will one more time. Awesome. So call in. 800-878-9698. It's the Bodie Hotline. Leave something fun on there. Come on, you can do it. It's good girl Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. She's a good girl Bodie. Yeah, she's the best girl in the world. Yeah. I... Had a day yesterday, and I, when I run some errands and sometimes I need to get something faxed or emailed, I go to see, oh, let's just call him Kyle, and over at the mail ship and more. He does the scanning and the emailing and the faxing and the fingerprinting and the this and the that. He's got the P.O. boxes. You know how that kind of thing goes. And um, went to visit him yesterday. He got me all dialed in, and he just wanted to share with me that he had some kidney stones. Oh, and he looked like he lost about 20 pounds, wasn't feeling too well, but it's his own business. He shows up, he does what he's got to do, but I felt kind of bad for him. So anyway, Kyle, hope you're feeling better if you come across this Dean Bodie uh, episode. And um, I know it doesn't feel good. I'll get into the story, uh, not on this episode, but the time when my appendix decided to explode. Oh, yeah. And we'll go down that road in 2017. I had a couple little mishaps that got me into the hospital. Not fun. Things happen in life when you're not ready for it sometimes. So you got to practice your Shiba Fu, your Shiba Kung Fu, that crouching lizard. No, 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 not the crouching lizard, the crouching tree frog. Right? Not the Shiba, not the, uh, the Kung Fu panda, the Kung Fu lizard, the crouching tree frog. I stand corrected. So... That being said, I'm going to show you an advanced move today. You're going to think that the Karate Kid started this whole thing and all of that stuff. But listen, Shiba, they go back 2,000 years of Japanese DNA. I think that they got it from us. They got it from the Shiba Kung Fu. They did. Advance move, while in this position, distract, kill shot, that's it. If you're just listening on the audio, you got to come to the YouTube channel to see the advanced move when we do the Shiba Kung Fu here. And again, this is not Kung Fu Panda, this is Kung Fu Lizard, Crouching Tree Frog, okay? So, try that at home, it's going to take some practice. Because uh, this doesn't come very easy. This is a very complicated technique. And uh, that being said, something cool happened to me. 
that I decided to do, and as I talk about from time to time, getting out of your comfort zone, I think it's key. It's key to rewire your brain, to develop more neurological connections in the brain. And I decided to go to a gun class. And in two weeks, I'm going for my license to carry. And I've never decided, thought I'd do it before, but it's something that I've always thought about doing. And um, you know, I think it's important you learn how to protect yourself and um, to feel comfortable with it and get trained by the right person. So I did it. It was unbelievably exhilarating. Oh, now I feel comfortable. I know what I'm doing. I'm taking the class in a couple weeks. We'll get all the right paperwork done. You know, do it the right way. But getting out of your comfort zone is key. If you're dealing with anxiety, depersonalization, derealization, one, you got to eat clean right? No junk, no sugar, no caffeine, no drugs, no alcohol, no weed, nothing. Let your body find its way. You have to put it in an environment so it can fix itself. It takes time. Oh, I just did it for one day. Why is it not fixing? Because it doesn't work like that. Your body replaces everything on a yearly basis. So have that mindset of doing it for a whole year of focus, eating clean, one, live your life like you're normally going to live it. Don't let it stop you. Don't give it too much energy. Don't bathe in the COVID schmovid, the pandemic schmandemic. Get your mind off of that. Think of positive stuff. Read positive things. Get around positive people. Stay away from people that are bringing you down and distracting you and putting all that bad energy in your life. Not helping you. These are choices you're going to have to make. Sometimes they're hard. Doesn't matter if it's family. Doesn't matter if it's friends. Doesn't matter. Change it. Got to do it. Three, get out of your comfort zone. Start doing uh, things you've never done before. Do a new project, something that's going to get these uh, new neurological connections uh, going. That's the way to do it. Give your nervous system a place to go. Get out and do some exercise so that trapped adrenaline has a place to release. Don't leave it all. It's like that bottled up energy that just keeps on circulating. You got to give it a place to go. Exercise is key. Got to do it. Start with the walking and work up to something else maybe. Stationary bike is good. The treadmill is good. Get outside in the sunshine where you get your vitamin D. Oh, yeah. Most powerful drug in the world at Dean Bodie. Begins with an F and ends with a D. Food. Get that whole food multi-mineral. Whole food your body knows, not fractions. Go ask some questions at a health food store and get a good one. That's all. Because it's there to supplement the food. Oh, so that being said, do you want to go party? Do you want to go party? We'll get funky there. Party. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -da. Da 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 -da. KC, man, it'll make you laugh and smile every time. You see what it's doing to me right now? Just get the KC in the sunshine band, flip it on, and it's game on. You're going to smile. You're going to skip around with the vacuum or whatever you're doing around cooking in the kitchen. Fun music. Start doing it. Make yourself do it. Anyways, this is all stuff that works for me. I'm just sharing with you. So, anyway, hope Kyle feels better with the kidney stones. I did the gun class. I'm so excited. I'm learning something new again. And uh, it's helping me rewire. It's unbelievable what that does. So, that being said, let's take a look. zippity doo da zippity a. Ba 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 ya da di da da da. Zo do 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 do. Za ba da pi pa ya da da di. I wasn't gonna go into this today, but you know some of the the pets I've had in my life and the journeys with the animals. As we do a little bit of a quick follow me around. When I was a little kid, we had Sam the terrier, and I remember hanging out with Sam one day, and I put him up like on a box. And he jumped down, and he hurt his ankle. I felt terrible. Next thing that happened to Sam, we were uh, where we lived in Miami was surrounded by a wall, and the in the cement blocks were those open squares. 
he decided one day to fly through the yard, go through one of those holes into the main road. Kendall was right there, and whammo, he got hit by the car. There was Sam, the end of Sam. Poor little Sam. Anyways, after that, I had a great dog named Andy, Andrew Cleese. He was kind of a mutt. Looked like he had a little bit of a greyhound in him and something, but he was fast. What an awesome dog Andy was. And we took him with us when we moved from the house to the apartments. And he started tearing up this apartment like nobody's business. So the adults had to make a decision to come and have Andy taken away. And it caught me off guard one day. And that was a very sad day for me, big time. So what happened was after that, I'm going around the neighborhood in my bicycle. What do I see in the garbage can? Is a little kitty with a box. The box is covering the cat over him. And the little kitty's this big. I said, whoa, that was meant to be. So I put the cat on my shirt. It clings to my shirt. And I'm riding my motocross bike all the way back to the apartment. I called up my mom. She was working at the hospital. I said, mom, I found a cat. I'm keeping him. Click. And that's how Ritz came into our life. And that was a story I told on a different episode about how I was eating Ritz crackers and it had the brown and the beige stripes on it. I looked at the cat. I looked at the cracker. I looked back at the cat. I said, hey, kitty cat, your name's going to be Ritz. And Ritz the cat was born. Oh, ended up being an awesome cat. And uh, but now what takes the cake? The Bodester. Bodie. This game changer. Bodie changed my life like unbelievable, turned my life upside down and said, here I am. Life is going to be good from now on. Good girl, Bodie. Good, good girl. Good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Yeah. DeanBodie.com is the website. You'll have the link for the podcast on there. Apple, Spotify, wherever you get podcasts. 800-878-9698 is the hotline, the Bodie fun line. Call it. Leave something fun on there. We'll put it on as a feature on the show. And the social link is on the website, too, to take you to the YouTube channel. All the episodes are there. Man, the numbers are going up, you guys. The numbers are going up. Oh, yeah, well, it's D-E-A-N-B-O-D-I Space Show is the YouTube channel. Numbers are going up on the podcast on a daily. Today, boom. 800 downloads. I'm so excited. I remember when it was like 10. (laughs) Nice going, man. You're doing it. We're doing it organically. We're taking it one day at a time because we're coming at you daily on the Dean Bodie show because life comes at you daily, not weekly and monthly. So that being said, I hope you have an awesome day today. And do you want to go party? Party. Have an awesome day. DeanBodie.com. Tap into some of your memories today. Let the let your mind just chill. Get some Casey in the sunshine, Ben. You won't regret it. And we will talk at you tomorrow. DeanBodie.com. Have a great day. Bye now.